What's up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and happy Easter to all of you. Of course, this is the next day for you, so it won't be whatever. But today we're going to our second annual Comic-Con, so our Indiana Comic-Con at the Indiana Convention Center, all that sort of stuff. We're going to Comic-Con today, and so we're going to like kind of film like a vlog type thing, we just kind of show some of the stuff we see there. I'm going to go meet another one of the Power Rangers, so I'll show that autograph and stuff at the end of the video. And then we're going to hopefully pick up a couple things, maybe like look for some toys and stuff like that of anything we need to get still. So I'm um, just going to kind of take you along with us and film whatever we see and stuff anything interesting probably not as in detail as we did last year even though that was our very first one so i had no clue what i was doing so it's going to be kind of a little more picky this year but i hope you enjoy this vlog so let's check it out
enjoyed that that was some of the footage we recorded at comic cause mostly just kind of toy hunting showing off some of the cool stuff that we saw while we were there but now we're going to show you all the different stuff we got so we'll show my stuff and what bro got um i don't know what to start with first i guess we'll just start with mine so as i mentioned i was going to see a power ranger so that power ranger was the black ranger walter jones so again i have another one of these posters for the black ranger and I got him to sign right there, as you can see. So it says Walter Jones and then Zach. And then, of course, whenever um, Johnny Young Bosch ever comes to the state or Comic-Con, I'll get him to sign the other side since they're both the Black Ranger. So I got that poster signed by him. And then I also got the pop sign there. And he put, it's morphing time. Of course, Walter Jones, Zach there as well on that. Because I have one for all of the Rangers and everything. So I'm going to get them all signed and stuff. And then we were just kind of wandering around, you know, shopping and stuff. And you may see it in the videos I recorded. Obviously, I don't know what I'm showing yet, but you may see them in there. But just walking around, come along another toy booth. And there happened to be two more Power Rangers there that I had no clue were there. And so I'll go ahead and show it there. So first person we ran into was, I think it's Nakia Brown or something like that. I can't remember what her name is. I can't um, see what sign there. But it was the Yellow Zeo Ranger. And Zeo is one of my favorite seasons of Power Rangers. That's why it's like my gamer name and all sorts of stuff. So I buy it, like to get stuff for the Zeo Rangers and everything. So I saw her and I was like freaking, I was like, you know, just there at a toy stand. I was like, oh my gosh, there's one of the Zeo Rangers, the yellow one and stuff. So I got this picture of her as the Yellow Zeo Ranger. She put, of course, it's morphing time as well. And then her name, and her name was Tanya from Zeo. And then, um, so I also got another picture, which I'll show in a second. And then also at that same booth, he wasn't there at the time. We came back later and he was there. But it was also Steve Cardenas, which was um, the second Red Ranger. If you saw Power Rangers, the movie version, he was the Red Ranger out of there. But then he also was the Blue Zeo Ranger. And of course, I didn't know he was going to be there. Or I would have taken my red poster that I got signed last year and had him sign the other side. So I would have both Red Rangers. But I didn't know he was going to be there. So I didn't take that or the pop or anything for him to sign. But I went ahead and got the Zeo pictures. And so we have their picture of him as the blue Zeo Ranger. And then I also bought this picture on the back of all the Zeo Rangers. And so I um, have Tanya's signature there and Rocky's signature over here. It's, his is hard to see, signed in black on it and everything. But so yeah, I got this. I'm going to get all the signatures on this now as well too because all these people do Comic Cons and stuff. So I'll be able to get that. So that's cool that I found that. And I was so happy to like see just tumble across the two other Power Rangers. I, I was not expecting to be there. And then also last year, I don't know if you remember if anyone saw my vlog from last year, but I bought some um, of these anatomy pictures of Pokemon. I got a Bulbasaur one. Well, this year they had both an Ivasaur and a Venusaur one. So I went ahead and bought the other two that go along with that. And happened to be that on the um, where they were selling these, right on the other side was the guy that created these. He was selling his book because he has a book now that you can find of all these. That, and I wanted to get it, but it's kind of expensive. Um, so I didn't, but I do eventually want to get it. But it's, you know, a book of each of the single ones. So on one side, it's got the picture. Then the other side, it's got all the information. There's information here. But I think it's got a lot more details, like, in the other side. It's really in-depth and detailed. So, of course, he's just, like, kind of making this all up, taking, you know, plant anatomy and Pokemon and animals and stuff and kind of creating these. But so, um, since the guy was there and if you bought a picture, he signed them for free. So I did the signatures. It's Christopher Stoll on both of those. So you can probably just find them. I don't think there's any links or anything here. But if you just, um, they're called Poke Anatomy. So if you search that or anything, you can see the book and stuff. And it's really cool. And like I said, I want to get it. But it was a big hardcover book that cost a lot of money. So I'm excited that I got that. And it was cool that he was there and um, autographed him and stuff like that. Then the last thing I bought is I've kind of been searching for him. But I'm a huge Captain America fan. I have big Captain America collection up in my room. Not like huge or anything, but it's the biggest stuff of all the things I got. And I got this to go along with. It's a Captain America statue gallery. I don't know if Diamond Select Toys gallery statue. So these are kind of like cheaper statues. They're not the most expensive or anything. But I've never seen this one and it looks really old. Um, but it, So I saw it and it was you know pretty good price. I forget. I think it was like $40 or something. And so I just went ahead and picked it up and got it. So it's going to open it and take a look at it. Okay, so here it is out of the box now. And this thing looks super cool. So we have the front of him there, of course, on his shield. It looks like he's been shot by a bunch of bullets that are kind of ricocheting off of the shield there. And then um, there's like the front of him aside and this is really tall compared to most of these i've seen because some are smaller some are bigger but this one looks pretty big compared to most of the gallery statues but this looks like the possibly the marvel now captain america i don't really know for sure it's a definitely a more modern captain america but i don't know exactly what it's from or how old this statue is 
but you can, as you can see, he's in a posing form and he's up on one leg, kind of, you know, going into action and stuff. That's why he's got the bullet damage on the front there. And then it's on this not cool looking base that's got the star of the course, like off his shield and stuff. And it's got the red and blue. And I think it looks super cool. And it stands up really nice and everything. And I just love this. This is so cool. I'm definitely glad I got that. And so next up, I'm going to show you kind of what Bro got. So here's one of the figures. He got a Marvel Legend of Black Cat here, which, of course, uh, we've done an unboxing of this. Uh, did the um, Jack, I don't know if I did a video on that or not. I can't remember how far back we went in videos. Um, but we did this, and so he had um, this spider woman or girl. I don't know who that is for sure. Um, and so now he got the Black Cat to go along with it since we've never had that before. Um, for Masters of the Universe, he brought a Prince Adam to go along with his Masters... Uh, of the universe, I was gonna say He-Man, uh, but He-Man figures and stuff that he got, and so that's a cool little figure just of Adam, not as He-Man or anything, just the Prince Adam or whatever there. And then last it was a Legendary Comic Heroes of Savage Dragon. So this is from Image Comics. It's this whole wave of just kind of like a uh, random characters from off-brand comics um, there. So you can see all of them. They it's just like the Marvel Legends. They have a build a figure set and everything. And so builds like Pit, I guess is who it is. Um, but yeah, you got the Savage Dragon there as well. So that's going to be it for our Comic-Con haul and video. And I hope you enjoyed. Like I so said, I don't know if I got a whole lot of video or not. I know it was a bunch of short clips of each of like a bunch of little different collectibles booth. And like I so said, I don't know how well the video came out. I filmed it with my uh, phone. So I don't know how well it came out. And I don't know if I can use the audio or if I put mu music over it. But you all found out by now, obviously. But I hope you enjoyed this Comic-Con video for Indiana Comic-Con 2018. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos. And we'll see you next time.